We are Team Yancey, and this is our life. It all started on Friday, April 26, 2013, when we said I do. And then two months later, some would say we didn't waste any time as we found out we were expecting our first child. Our family is very close. You have Poppy, that's my dad. And then you have my mom, she goes by Gigi. Then you have my little brother. He goes by Uncle VJ. Next is my big sister, and she goes by TT. But here you have my beautiful wife, Keisha. And then what would any story be without this handsome fella? <laughs> That's me, and my name is Nas. Most importantly, the newest Team Yancey member, our son, Logan. He's really the star of the show. Welcome to the family. Good morning. Um, it's early in the morning. About to go to work. Um, but before I go to work, I just decided that I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this uh, voting at, for the election. It's November 4th. Um, for the most part, I vote in almost every election, but this one I'm not really excited about at all. Um, in fact, politics in general has really pissed me off. Because for those of you who know me, you know I love politics and that I'm still trying to get my own show on uh, MSNBC to replace either Rev Al, whose show is just pointless, and Chris Matthews, whose show is extra pointless. Um, but it's not really exciting. It's um, not really exciting for one is because I'm starting to see that a lot of times these elections spend so much money and uh, so much outside influence from people that's not even in, you know, your district or your, or your congressional district or whatever, and um, it's just ridiculous that people fall for it. Like, <clears throat> like for instance, this is about to be a Republican sweep. I believe. I believe the Democrats will not retain um, the House. Let me see, me the Senate, and uh, and then I just look at, and I scratch my head. I'm wondering why are we going to reelect the party that got us into the recession in the first place. That just doesn't make sense to me. It's like people have this short-term memory where, you know, George Bush and his entire Republican office party is the reasons why gas prices went up, is the reason why we had, you know, a, a, a recession, borderline, a uh, Great Depression. It's like, that's the, those are the people that, 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 you know, that happened to, I mean, that, that, that caused that to happen. And then we get, you know, a Barack Obama in the office, and then a Democratic, you know, um, Senate and House. Uh, and then people get mad that the man did what he said he was gonna do. I'm sorry, he said he was gonna make universal health care. He said he was going to, you know, try to close Guantanamo Bay. He said he was gonna do those things. And you voted for him in, in a landslide not one time, but twice. Because remember, he landslide victory won against the man with the little arm joints, what's his name, John McCain. And then he's landslide victory against the guy who feels like the presidency is a rite of passage, and that'd be Mr. Uh, Mitt Romney. Um, but yet you guys hate everything he does. I don't get it. And what's worse is that everything he said he was gonna do he kind of did. He's still working on the uh, immigration reform, which is, you know, his fault because he, all this stuff, and his whole agenda could have really been done in the first, you know, few two years of his uh, presidency. But that's neither here nor there. Because when you have a president, a Democratic House, and a Democratic Senate, which was almost filibuster proof, I don't understand why all your stuff didn't get done. But I'm not going to complain. Long story short, short story long. At the end of the day, I'm not excited because Democrats are flaky. You know, none of them want their Democratic president who turned the economy around to, to, to support them. Republicans are the same party of old white men and these women who are, oh, I'm a Republican and it's great. No, being conservative is great. 
being liberal is great. These Republican and GOP titles and all that stuff and Democratic is stupid. Although I typically vote Democratic, I am independent. So anyway, before I go into this uh, voting booth, I like to check out and see what I'm going to be voting for. So New Jersey, we don't have too much to think about. Cory Booker is going to win the United States Senator. The House of Representatives will definitely be Nora Cross. Um, yeah, it will, yeah, it will be Nora Cross. And then all this other jazz, the county clerk, members of the chosen freeholders and the member of township committee, they don't really matter um, to anybody. Who cares? But the public questions are not even clear. They're kind of corny. Um, Constitution amendments allow a court to order pretrial detention of a person in a criminal case. Do you approve the amendment? Da -da 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 -da. I probably do because I believe that if you're on trial for something, then you probably need to stay in detention until you're clear. But then again, that takes away from the innocent until proven guilty. So I'll see when I get in there, I'll read it more in depth. What's this one? Constitutional Amendment uh, dedicating state funds for open space, farmland, and historic preservations and changing existing dedication of full water program, underground storage ta tanks, and hazardous site cleanups. That has a lot of reading, so I'll read that when I get there. Um, I'll probably vote yes for both. Probably not this one, because this one seems like it's trying to do some other stuff. Uh-oh, wait a minute. The amendment also removes language in the Constitution about bail eligibility for death penalty cases. This, the death penalty no longer exists in New Jersey, right? And then another one is school board. As you can see how important our school board is, it says vote for three, and there's only three to choose. And then you can tell how important the membership, I mean, even the member of town committee is. No Republican <laughs> made a nomination, and this person is the Democratic, and that's it. So I might do write-ins for myself. I might write myself in all of these boxes, except for Senator, because I want my homie Cory Booker to win. Um, yes, my homie Cory Booker to win. Um, and remember, I really don't care about either one of them, but I'm probably going to vote Democratic because, one, I didn't do my due diligence and research either one of them. Hey, Mom, what you just do? I rock the boat. 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 Yes, I do. I rock the boat. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I rock the boat. I rock the boat. I rock the boat. I rock the boat. Mmm. Ah, yum, yum.
morning, so I'm right outside of uh, the hospital because um, we had to bring Logan here this morning because he's getting uh, circumcised today. And unlike circumcision in the hospital when the baby's born, um, when you get it done a little afterwards, it's a little bit more uh, not complicated. It's actually a lot easier, but it's a little bit more that goes to it. In hospitals, um, they circumcise a baby. I mean, when at birth they circumcise the baby immediately, you know, following birth, and the um, baby doesn't get like really any type of pain medication, anesthesia, or anything. He feels everything, and uh, you know, we wasn't really about that life. So we decided to wait till after he was six months. He's currently seven months, and he's a few days away from being eight months to get it done by uh, you know a urologist who makes sure that one it looks like the best it can look and that it, everything is you know healed properly without you know him having to go through a lot of pain you know as a newborn you know the first thing you come into this world first thing they're gonna do is gonna pull skin off of you you know but whatever but he just went back and short story long um yeah just uh praying for him to have a a quick it should only be like 20 minutes but a quick procedure um, they had to put him to sleep. Um, we don't get to watch that process happen. I was a little upset about that because I don't trust too many people, especially those in the medical profession that wear business suits and, you know, seem to be in stuff for profit more so than people's health. But yeah, um, so we'll see how everything turns out and hopefully, uh, this will happen quickly so we can go about our day. Say hi, man. <laughs> He's like, Dad, really? <laughs> really? Do you know what they just did Not to the me? Time. <laughs> Do you know what they just did to me? You want to take video? <laughs> so, this is recovery. He's all set and it's great to be able to get dressed in his eagles. And we're about to be out. Ain't that right, man? Ain't that right? so good. Such a big boy.